Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Total Annihilation. In the last episode, we were on the moon, Core Prime's moon. It's called Dump. It's a place where damaged buildings and units from Core were dumped, and they were our only source of metal. We couldn't build any metal production. We couldn't build any metal production structures except for the metal maker, which we didn't have a need for. Why? Because there were so much wreckages over there that it kind of guaranteed a pretty steady supply of metal. And we destroyed 22 units, thereby ending the mission. They only had 22. Oh, because it was a dump and like the mission briefing said, we are supposed to destroy the remaining ones that were still functioning. That's how the core discards its um, buildings and units, huh? Well, anyway, mission 21. Welcome to Core Prime. Welcome to Core Prime. Core Prime, center of the Core Empire, was a bleak metal graveyard. Organic life had been extinguished long ago. In the stillness, the low hum of electricity could be heard everywhere, emanating primarily from the massive computers which lay beneath the planet's surface. The outcome of the fighting here would determine the fate of the galaxy. Mission 21.001 Arm Core Prime Destroy all core units in the area. Establish a secure foothold on Core Prime. Priority critical. Establish a base as quickly as possible to defend against counterattacks. Then scour the area for any remaining core units. We will use this beginning to bring about Core's ending. Info feed. Core Prime is a world encased in metal. A metal extractor will extract metal wherever it is placed. Metal should not be a problem. Core resistance will be. Move swiftly to eliminate all core units, plants, and labs. And when speed is 900-ish, it's pretty good, probably 10, 16, thereabouts, energy, I mean. And um, Core Prime with a moon circling it. I don't recall if we saw the moon when we first left Core Prime in the core campaign. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Well, anyway, let's go. Okay, check speed, mm, and I think that's good enough. Let's go. Okay. Uh, yes. I don't think I want to cut away the setup portion. Why? Because we shouldn't have any problems with resources here. Like, we've got metal everywhere, and, um... Yeah, we just need to keep on building non-stop, make sure the commander is being put to good use with its high build rate. I can even speed this up because this is mandatory waiting, right? I just don't know how the AI will take this speed up. Oops, nope, let's just forego that one. Because any waiting time is time wasted, which means I should be more careful about what I do or plan to do. Let's quickly have a K-Bot lab here before coming in for uh, this one. I think I'll have it there to be safe. And then have a few more metal extractors. Just want to make it neat, as neat as possible.
There are some things behind us, I wonder what they are. Oh wait, are they the solar collectors? I think I recall them being solar collectors. Let's just have a few more energy production, just in case. Maybe you can come help out. And then come in here to destroy those things, right? Ah, see? There's a core unit production, no, patrolling at the back. I need more energy, which means, okay, um... I can have one here, after this is done though. Uh oh. Okay. I better destroy that one. And get up there. I think I can do capture instead. No, actually, never mind. It's a waste of time to capture. Better to destroy them than to capture. Okay, come over here while you're walking. I'll start producing units. Oh no. Okay, um, I need you to come down here. Wait, are they coming? Yes, so I better come quickly. Excuse me, aren't you firing? Aren't you going to fire? Or are you just gonna ignore? It's weird, right? I obviously told the commander to fire or attack, but it just ignored everything. Now I need you to patrol here so you obviously can then heal. And you can come in and help out with this. No, okay, just uh, reclaim that one. No, no need actually. Build one more here, maybe. Yeah. Now the commander just go up there to destroy those things first. Stop this. Jethro's under attack? Oh, friendly fire, huh? Can I... capture that one? I wonder if it works. Okay. Let's have, um... the vehicle plant. Maybe here... Is there some more? Oh, there's some more enemies there, so let's get out. Okay, never mind. You know what? Let's destroy you. Whoa, whoa, that's not right. Fast to catch up. Good. Get rid of it, come here, take this out. And um, you can build the metal, the moho mines on top, I think. Just get on with it and build as many as possible. Reclaim this and we'll speak later. Oh, wait. Help out. Now let's take this one out. And, um, what do I want to do? Okay, you can help guard this so they 
cooperate. And there's more of these here. I'll create um, maybe a vehicle plant here. Is it too deep inside? No, I don't think so. Should be fine. We've got a lot of units and whatnot, so it's fine. Can have some kiwis and all that coming here. Good. Clean the place up. Maybe we can start moving forward already. Now what? Now um have a two of these. Move them out here. And maybe I can help you out also. Yeah, the commander's job is to build faster, right? So it's okay. And have couple of these here, maybe. And um, a few more here. And we'll see what's next. Meanwhile, I think I need some storage, so I'll have some here. Just in case. And a few here. Of energy storage. Yeah, should be fine. Now let's go. Yep, I think we can just quickly go in and finish up the mission. Because, yes, without resource limitations, it's so much easier, isn't it? I hope, but not when I had to play with the other mission. And um, that was the earlier mission, mission 4 of Core Campaign. That one was difficult. Now we can just keep moving forward and see if there's anything there. Just let them go in. Number two, sweep here. And then sweep right down. Now, I think you can help me scout out this place, right? Reveal it for me, please. Number three. I'll not have shoot all, so it's okay. I don't think I need to capture anything, but I'll not have shoot all. Why aren't they firing at me? Do they not have enough resources to do so? It's nice just rushing forward. There's a lot of potential to this mission, but there are other missions that we can play. So there's no need to drag this one out. There are harder ones, definitely. But you see the potential here? Uh, and the potential for units to get stuck. 
it's been like stuck there forever trying to get here to build these things. Could have gotten access to advanced vehicles already. Yep, it's almost over. We're at max speed also. And I think I want to move my commander over because it needs to help to clear some of these things. That's all? Is that all? That's too fast, right? Do I need to do anything here? Or maybe I still missed out something. So let's have a radar. Yeah, something here. I think that's all. No, not not gonna attack? I told you to attack, but you're not gonna attack, are you? Yeah, that's all. Okay, so we have got stumpies, I think. They look like stumpies on the left hand side. The rest, um, can't really tell. But this sure looks very expensive, like EXPANSIV. Okay. We killed 82, lost 68. They killed 65, lost 94. How? How did they lose 94 when we only killed 82? 12 collateral damage? That's a lot for them. Hmm, doesn't matter. We arrived on Core Prime in big fashion and they gave us a good welcome. It was the shorter mission of many. Well, we completed mission 21, welcome to Core Prime, and next episode is mission 22, battle for coordinate 6551447. Sector 6551 of region 447, maybe, don't know. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's all I have for now. Have a nice day!